Hello and welcome guys, welcome to Crack Suite. Today in this video, I'm going to give you the review of Evolution X 5.7 version which is based on Android 11. I will also show you the installation process, so watch video until the end. And if you haven't heard about this Evolution X ROM, then this Evolution X ROM is one of the best custom ROMs in the Android community. This ROM is especially popular due to its performance and stability. This Evolution X strikes a perfect balance between performance and simplicity via stroke Android experience. And the battery life of this ROM is also decent as compared to other custom ROMs. And now I will show you some features and give the review of this ROM. And later in this video I will also show the installation process as well. And if you like this video then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our CrackSuite YouTube channel. So without wasting time, let's get started. This is Redmi Note 8. This Evolution X ROM runs smoothly in it. You won't face any lag in this ROM. But I have found one bug on every Android 11 based ROM that I will discuss later in this video. So make sure you watch video until the end. And this is how notification panel looks like. There are lots of toggles available and we can customize it too. Google Dialer and Google Message are available in this ROM. And Google Play services are also featured so that you don't need to flash G apps additionally. You can swipe between recent apps by swiping on the bottom of the screen like this. And there is a screenshot option on recent app section. And you can take a screenshot from there directly and can share, scroll and delete too instantly. Now I will go to the settings section and show some useful features and new settings inside this Evolution X ROM. At first there is network and internet settings and inside it there is hotspot setting available. And in this Evolution X ROM you can enable hotspot and Wi-Fi at the same time which is really useful feature that is missing on MIUI 12. Also there is private DNS feature available inside network and internet setting. There is a special Evolution X setting named as the Volver. And there are lots of customizable settings available from where you can customize your system settings according to your choice. There is themes, status bar, notifications, quick settings, power menu, gestures, lock screen, buttons, animations, miscellaneous settings available. First I will go to the theme section and from here you can change lock screen clock style. There are lots of cool lock screen clock styles available which looks really good and unique on your lock screen. You must try this lock screen feature on your device. And below there, there is dark theme, accent color picker, icon shape, icon pack, switch styles, and volume panel styles, and many other features are available. Now I will go to status bar settings, and from here you can customize clock and date on status bar, enable battery bar, and battery indicator to circle, dotted circle, fill circle, text, and hidden. Now inside notification setting, there is heads up, Notification headers, vibrate for notification, kill app button, notification light, battery light, vibrate on connect disconnect, and call waiting. Now I will enter into quick settings. At first there is quick pull down and then smart pull down, vibrate on touch, display quick settings when locked. You can also change quick settings row and column numbers. Now I will go back and enter into power menu. There is system settings, advanced reboot. Hide power menu on lock screen and optional user action option available. There is gesture setting available from where you can enable long press for torch and inside system setting there are lots of gestures feature available like you can enable swipe three fingers down for a screenshot and it works perfectly. And I'm already using Android 11 full screen gestures in this room. Now inside lock screen settings there is fingerprint error vibration, fingerprint authentication vibration display status bar on lock screen, lock icon, charging animations, lock screen shortcuts, etc. Now on buttons, there is navigation gestures, option available, volume rocker wake, and many other buttons feature available. And inside animation, there are lots of animation settings available and you can control all the animation of your phone from this section. Like you can change quick tiles animation to flip, rotate, and no animation. You must try this feature and you will like it very much as well. And on miscellaneous there is gaming mode. You can enable gaming mode from here and many other gaming mode settings are also available. And at last there is about evolution X option from where you can see developers name, check their social media and websites. And all the credit of this room goes to the respective developers. 
Now I will go back and enter into apps and notifications. There is notifications, assistant, screen time, default apps, permission manager and special app access. And from permission manager you can manage every permission of your application from this one place. And inside battery there is battery saver, adaptive battery, smart charging, smart cutoff, battery information and battery health options available. Now I will enter into display settings. There is adaptive brightness, lock screen, dark theme, font and display size, night light, live display, colors, styles and wallpaper, rotation, full screen apps, screen saver, tap to wake, pocket detection and enable plots available. And in sound and notification, all sound settings are available with ringtone vibration patterns. There is storage privacy, location and digital well-being settings available and on security, fingerprint and face unlock options are also available. And in addition, Xiaomi Part setting is also available and inside it there is MI sound enhancer, Xiaomi dose, display color calibration, clear speaker, USB fast charge and vibration control feature available. And in system setting there is gestures, backup, system update, multiple users and reset options are available and on about phone section you can see android 11 android security pass level of 5th may 2021 and also you can see cornell version so this is all about evolution x room everything in this room works perfectly i've tested lots of android 11 room in this redmi note 8 and on almost every android 11 room i've found one issue related to video calling when you do video call on google meet or on messenger or on any other platform you face some issue after doing video call for a long time like on google meet i get disconnected many times on my meeting and on messenger also your video get stopped after doing video call for a long time for about 30 minutes and even if you try to call again it won't connect you have to call three four times to do video call on messenger so this is the work that I am facing on almost every Android 11 custom rooms in this Redmi Note 8. And beside this, everything is working perfectly fine in this Redmi Note 8. And one more thing that I forget to mention, that in this Evolution X room, no any camera application is available. But you can use Google Camera in it. Google Camera works perfectly in this room. Now let's talk about its installation process. First of all, you have to download Evolution X room zip file for your device from the description section. And I've already downloaded it. And then you have to reboot your phone to the custom recovery mode. And in Xiaomi phone, you can reboot to custom recovery by long pressing power button and volume up button together. Draw the password of your lock screen to decrypt data. So now we are in Orange Fox custom recovery. Here at first go to the wipe section and select Dalvik, Cas, System, Fender and Data. Then swipe right to wipe them. Now go back to file section and go inside the folder where you have downloaded Evolution X ROM and click on it then swipe to right to install it this will take some time to install it so i will fast forward this process now it is installed click on reboot system then evolution x rom will be installed on your phone but in case if your phone reboots into custom recovery then you have to format your device like in my case my phone reboots to custom recovery now go to the wipe section click on format data then type YES yes and click on tick mark and when it's completed click on that reboot system then your phone will reboot to system and you will have evolution x rom installed on your device so this is all about evolution x 5.7 rom i hope you like this video and if you find this video useful then hit that like button comment below share this video and don't forget to subscribe to our Cracksuit YouTube channel. And thank you very much for watching this video until the end. I will see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye. Take care.